Hey YouTubers, thought I'd go into some fine detail about my Slayer Exciter setup for you guys. Um, the secondary coil form is a 1.90 inch outside diameter by 11 inch, sorry I bumped the camera, um, coil form with 28 gauge wire, 850 turns. The primary here, which is uh, kind of loose, sitting here. I like to play around with the uh, height of it, see where the sweet spot is. Um, it has roughly four turns, three and a half, four turns of 22 gauge copper magnet wire. And the top lead goes to your positive coming in. This other black lead goes to a 47k half watt carbon film resistor and that goes to the base pin of a 2N3055 transistor I'll leave this up for you guys so you can see this I'm not sure what the most spec means but uh these are rated at roughly 60 volts at 15 amps. I've pushed it about one and a half amps before they pop at 60 volts, roughly, from a solar power supply, which I've kind of customized myself with only a uh, 50 amp rectifier and some fuses and a uh, little line filter choke on the positive lead. So back to the circuit. Um, so yeah, the bottom turn of the secondary coil form goes to the resistor here to the base pin. And this is the incoming positive lead, which I have kind of spliced together here. The other pin is the emitter. And that is your ground lead. Goes to your negative ground, which I have grounded to mains earth. The LED you see here is a jumbo red LED. And it actually doesn't start coming on until about 30 volts with a uh, top load. And th that is just a uh, your typical doorknob. Fits nicely on there, roughly about the same size. I run it with and without it all the time, just to see the plasma brush. It's quite nice. I get all, just about one inch from it. And uh, that's about it for the circuit. 2N3055, 47K resistor, half watt, carbon film. and. It'll take about 50 volts max, but you must have a massive heat sink and a fan on it at all times. Anything over 18 volts, it starts to get hot. Anything under that, you can leave the fan off, and, and it will get warm to about 120 degrees. And it will stay running like that for hours and hours. So, I like to go into detail about my power supply. This used to be a uh, original Sola. They rated it at 24 volts DC, six amps. And that was probably just for the outputs. Um, this transformer itself has a center tap. And uh, when I tried it out with without the cap or the rectifier hooked up, um, I get about 60 volts out of it with it rectified and smoothed with the uh, 15,000 volt or 15,000 microfarad 50 working volts DC cap capacitor technology. Um, I can get about 75 to 100 volts out of it when I max it out on a uh, Variac. I really shouldn't because the cap 
probably won't take it eventually. It'll probably pop. But there we go, guys. Um, 2N3055. Every once in a while, I'll hook up the second one and uh, do the abuse tests. But for for now, I just run a single one. And it runs pretty damn good. So we're at about the five minute mark on the video. Um, my memory card allows. I'll shoot some more video of the thing running. And I got the plasma globe going. The other thing about the plasma globe and Slayer Exciter is this is an eight inch one with a audio setting. That's the normal on setting. That's obviously off. Um, if your circuit doesn't start up the very first time, try flipping over the coil on the primary. And if it still doesn't hook start up, um, whack it with about 20 volts DC, maybe 24 volts, and it should start working. But if not, and you have a plasma globe nearby, it will uh, induce a little bit of a current into the uh, secondary, which feeds back to the base pin, and it'll get the thing oscillating. From there, you guys can do what you want with the coil setup, but uh, let's turn this thing on. Input voltage to the Slayer Exciter is roughly. 25 to 30 volts. So here we go. The two lights in the back are. Switch this fan on. This one is a 32 watt, four foot uh, fluorescent. It's kind of a skinny tube compared to my finger. Compared to those, those are the fat ones at 40 watts. this other one on hook for you guys and uh, it's plenty bright try not to get too close because it does shut the thing off as you can see I got a pretty good plasma brush <clears throat> clear my throat guys sorry Let's just turn this down to about 7 volts, 8 volts, and we have just a tiny bit of breakout. So right now I'm going to turn this way up for you guys. I'm going to stand a little bit farther back because this, this piece of shit phone does not like EMF. And that's about... 60 volts on the Variac. Let me get this other light to light up for you guys again. And it is very, very bright. At least 100% brightness, if not more. And uh, there you go, guys. Slayer Exciter. All my parts are from Radio Shuck, except the uh, 28 gauge wire, which I bought a nice big fat spool off of eBay for about 40 bucks. Let's uh, see what this plasma ball does to this field with this. Reacts pretty nicely to it. Let me know what you guys think. It's a pretty good Slayer Exciter. It's a pretty powerful field if it lights up that plasma ball. In fact, that's with the power off to it.
In fact, I'll unplug it completely. As you can see, it kind of pulls down the voltage on the Slayer Exciter, making the fluorescent dim just a little bit. Let me get rid of this other light so you guys can see the plasma brush. Hope you guys don't mind me zooming in. It's just the damn thing to focus. Let's go for a little bit more voltage. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that wire is kind of vibrating back and forth about an eighth of an inch. Let's turn this back down. Check my temperature. And we're well over 100 degrees, and I just burned my finger. So, a massive heat sinker is required, guys. Get this light going. And that's about it, guys. Let me know what you think. Two N three zero five five.